Okay, to build this, you're going to want to place a piece of granite right here with your button right there. It could be right here, but I prefer it to be like this. Put a repeater, set to one tick, then put a piston right or block right there, torch like this. And then you're going to want to put an immovable block, like a furnace, or in my case, obsidian, and then put a repeater set to three ticks. And then you're going to want to take your regular block, put, a, put it right there, put a redstone torch right here, and put a block right there and put a piece of redstone right there. Then you're going to want to take a sticky piston, put the slime block there so that your TNT can be launched. And then you're going to want to go up, place a block on top of this redstone torch, uh, place a redstone torch right there, put two pieces of dirt right there, or your block, and break that, set that to four ticks. Then you're going to want to make an L shape like this, uh, put three pieces of redstone on it right like that, sticky piston, slime block, and then regular piston like that right there. And then you're done. And make sure you put two pieces of obsidian like that so that your TNT, just on the off chance that it does, won't go to the side and get caught by any of the other blocks. So when you whip out your TNT, like so, and you whip out your sand, like so, you put the sand right here, put the TNT right there, press the button, and it'll get launched. You can see another design right there. Let me with it over there. This will travel pretty much exactly 30 blocks every time. And if you're hitting a wall with water, it can do some pretty serious damage. Since the sand will fall inside the TNT, it can break through water. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Have fun raiding bases and factions. Bye.